In HealthWorks tonight, glaucoma is known as the sneak thief of sight. That's because most people don't even know when they have it, yet it's the second leading cause of blindness. Now there's new hope in the fight against glaucoma. And a doctor from UT Health Science Center here in Houston is one of the only doctors in our area who performs it. Come on. Denise Gilpin recently underwent the newest alternative treatment for glaucoma. It worked. It worked great. He's very happy. Um, my last exam was last week, and he was just ecstatic. He's like, can't get any better than that. Dr. Robert Feldman performed canaloplasty on Denise at Memorial Hermann Hospital. It is a new technique for lowering the intraocular pressure in patients who have glaucoma that's uncontrolled on medications. Denise was diagnosed with glaucoma when she started having problems with her peripheral vision, a common late warning sign of glaucoma. I've been following Denise for a long time, and Denise actually had, has had glaucoma for a long time and has some vision loss from the glaucoma or we wouldn't be operating. Here's the problem. There's supposed to be fluid in the front of your eye to feed the tissues and help maintain the shape of your eye. But with glaucoma, the fluid can't drain, and that causes pressure on the optic nerve, which eventually leads to vision loss or blindness. What we're doing is trying to find a way to get the fluid from inside the eye to the little tube that's behind the drain to allow the fluid to get out in a natural pathway compared to our previous surgeries which totally bypassed the entire outflow pathway. Come on sweetie. Denise has always known she's high risk for glaucoma for two reasons. I wasn't surprised, I was just surprised it took so long because it was diagnosed with my mother and my sister at an earlier age. Dr. Feldman says if a family member has glaucoma, you're four times more likely than others to get glaucoma. That's why Denise insists her daughter get tested every year. Plus... The disease is much more common in African Americans, and it also occurs earlier in African Americans, so the disease is usually more serious by the time it's detected. The procedure has allowed Denise to keep her eyesight and enjoy simple things in life, like snuggling up to read a good book and enjoy looking at her dog. Good girl. Good girl. For more on the benefits and drawbacks of canaloplasty, check out the help page on our website.